Can I find anybody in here who's ever had to sing a song of love unto the Lord because you recognize how good he's been? He says, I want you to shout unto the rock of your salvation. Now, I know that makes some people uncomfortable. You prefer more laid back, introspective, quiet church, but you can't read through the Psalms for very long and maintain quiet worship. He says, when you worship, I want you, hear the word, shout to the Lord because the Lord is the rock of your salvation. He literally says he sustains you. He stabilizes you. He's the strong and sturdy one that keeps you when you can't keep yourself. Oh, brothers and sisters, don't you fool yourself. Your education didn't get you to where you are right now. All your knowledge and your skills are the only things that got you to where you are right now. Just because you came from the right family does not mean you got everywhere because you did the right thing. No. I need somebody in here who can testify when the world got rocky, when the world started tripping on me, he stabilized me. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I need you to understand the reason why some people have been shouting around you is because they've been in some unstable environments, some unstable situations, some unstable work proper, proper experiences. But today they're in here lifting up holy hands and opening up their mouths because they've been stabilized in unstable times. He said, I want you to sing and I want you to shout and then he says come before the Lord with thanksgiving now I like this I like this Reverend Dominique Allen the Hebrew connotation that is given in this Old Testament passage for come before the Lord with thanksgiving it literally means get in God's face with your thanks it went over the top five people caught it right in here let me see if I can get everybody else he says it means to get in God's face with your thanks it means you have thought about everything that God has done for you you have thought about all the ways God has made for you and you want to get all up close and personal with God and tell God thank you now I know none of y'all came from the hood like I did but when you're in the hood if somebody needs to get up in their face you're not sheepish and shy about that you get oh all up in their face and you let them know exactly what they need to know. I need to find some grateful people at Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church who are grateful for every mountain he brought you over, for every valley he's seen you through, for every blessing you shout hallelujah and you get all up in God's face and tell the Lord thank you. I need somebody who knows that God's been better to you than you've been to yourself, that God has favored you in ways you could have never favored yourself, that God has taken care of you and elevated you and lifted you and sustained you and promoted you and forgiven you and forgiven you and forgiven you and forgiven you. And forgiven you.